one of the most hated kinds of levels in games. Hands down, are water levels. Every game has one, and everybody hates them. It's a level entirely underwater. Now, some games like Banjo Tooie are kind enough to give you, like, infinite air just for that level. This game isn't. But that's not the main reason I hate this level. I'm just gonna show you guys what I mean. Not only is this an entirely underwater level, this has gotta be one of the ugliest level designs in gaming history. You're in a sewer. And it's just, it's a, it's, it's a disgusting looking sewer. Like, everything just looks grimy and gross. I know that it's, it's also, it's like, it's, I wanna call it steampunk, but I don't know if you would call this really steampunk. And I know there are people that are into this kind of level design, but I'm not one of the people. Like, I usually like those, like, bright, bouncy, colored levels, simply because they're just really cool, and, you know, it's very hard to get that kind of level done properly. This kind of level, it's just, like, it's, it's not hard to get this level to look good. This kind of level is not really good, but to look like what it's supposed to. I mean, look at fucking Fallout. Fucking Fallout. This is, this is like fucking Fallout in a nutshell. Like, but except sewers and it's fucking Banjo Kazooie. And Fallout came like 10 years. Like, Fallout 3 came like 10 years after this. Like, I think this is like around the time of Fallout 1, actually. Maybe even later than that. I, I know Fallout 1 had existed at the time, though. But, you know, refer references weren't a big thing at the time. References actually, Rare haven't started, started doing their big references until, uh. Until, um, Banjo Tooie, actually. And that game is just fucking chop full of references. I can't wait to LP that game someday. I'm gonna do that one really soon. Like, I'm gonna do this game, I'm gonna do some other game, maybe some other game after that, and then I'm gonna go straight into Banjo Tooie. Because I fucking love Banjo Tooie. It's a great improvement off of a great game. Just imagine that. This game was great enough. This game was like pure greatness to gaming history. And then the sequel just adapted off this. Like, amazing. It was ama an amazing adaption. It's like fucking humans off monkeys and shit, you know? It's just like. It was a big adaption to an already perfect game. And it was, it was great. And then they tried to do that again with Nuts and Bolts. And they failed. And I see why it isn't as good of a game. They were already at their high point. And they tried to get better and they ruined it trying. And also they tried to approach the, the, the new modern gamers with their favorite things. Kind of like Sonic 06 did. And it messed up because of that too. That's another game that's very underrated. I thought Sonic 06, yes it was definitely a really hard game. And I can see all, every single glitch in the game. But I still thought it was a really fun game. Simply because the fact I'm because I was playing fucking Sonic. And you know, it's because the fact that Sonic is on the cover is still a really fucking good game. But Sonic 06 is really good, I don't see why anyone hates it. Or some people some people call it Sonic 06, some people just call it Sonic the Hedgehog like it's supposed to be called. But that's the name of the original game, so you can't call it for that. And then I know that I don't know if it's like the foreign country name for it, or if it's just like fan-made name for it. But some people also call it Sonic Next Gen, and that's not the original name, as far as I'm aware. Just fucking clinker, clinker. Seriously, man, just let me get your tail. Thank you. You fucking dumbass. Not ready yet. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass here. I'm just gonna go down to uh. The biggest, most dreaded part of every game, every game has that one part, not even the levels, that one part of the level you dread doing, and you just don't want to play the game because of that. This is that. This part, just, oh, it makes you, you're just like, oh no, no, I don't want to, don't, I don't want to Girl Scout cookies. Do you know who I am? I'm a Terminator. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking coming up with the best commentary today. <laughs> get up here. Get up here. Gloop. Gloop. Oh god, I'm thinking of that Game Grumps moment. Hey, it's Gloop. Come on, Gloop. Fart for us, man. Oh, there, there it is. Hey, Jinjo. Jinjo. And then, yeah, Gloop will actually burps out the bubbles, but for Game Grumps fans out there, 
including myself, I'm going to say he farts out the bubbles. And that is farts. <laughs> I love the Game Grumps interpretation of this. Hey, Gloop's gotta be at all the parties! Hey, did you guys uh, see the Amazing Spider-Man? Gloop! Fart for us, man! Fun fact, never actually, I haven't actually seen the Amazing Spider-Man yet. Is that, is, that, is that good? I haven't seen the Avengers yet either. That's, 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 that's how all up here are. It's like, it's like, so you're gonna talk about like the game? No. You're gonna think like, jokes about the game? Nope. So you're like, just gonna like explain how to play the game? No, no, man. What do you talk about when you do your LPs? Oh, uh, just, just like movies I haven't seen yet. Like, uh, like what? Like, well, one episode I went on for like five minutes about how I haven't seen the Avengers yet. And uh, how many subscribers do you have? Two. Actually, I think I know somebody who is like. Actually, Mr. Canadian Donut. That's it. Mr. Canadian Donut has like some of the best LPs I've seen. He's got a lot of potential, and this guy only has like 25 subscribers, and his LPs are amazing. Like he's got like a capture card, and his commentary is great. Honestly, anyone anyone who's watching this, go check out Mr. Canadian Donut. I'm, I'm sure you'll be glad you did. I'm also make a make a little shout out to you, man, if you're watching this for some weird reason. You're, you're fucking amazing with your channels. With your, with your LPs. Just, I know nobody's nobody in the world has seen your LPs before, but they're they're freaking amazing. It's it's got a lot of potential. Now, eat too much garbage. Help, oh, clanker. It's like a YouTube poop for some reason. Oh, anyways. I can see the little gold teeth there. You gotta shoot the gold teeth when he gets out of the water, which is really hard to do because he's just moving so slow. I don't think even clanker is moving to be an obstacle. Toothache, this side gone. Clanker swallowed. Reward. And on both sides there's a tooth you need to shoot, this one has a Jiggy. We are doing good, we're already two Jiggies in. This this level moves very slow. Like, the first ten minutes you're doing in this level, you will only get like two Jiggies. And the second ten minutes you will get like every fucking Jiggy in the game. I, I swear, this, this, level, this level moves at like two totally different paces. Like, at first, it's the, s it's the slowest level, and then it's the fastest level. And on this side... If, if you guys have played Banjo 2, you'll know what that is. I'm gonna go up here. Not up here, down here. That is the entrance you want to take into Clanker. It's a weird, weird thing to say. You can go back this way, but you'll only get eggs going back this way. And we want jiggies. We don't want eggs, we want jiggies. I'm very hungry. Give me the jiggies. Uh, that game, I, I want to do an LP of that. I want to find that website that has the game and play it. The only person I've seen that's really popular has played it is, I think, Vintage Beef did. Vintage Beef was the one. Was it? No, it was, uh... Slam a cow did it. One of them, one of the Minecrafters that has like cow or beef in their name. I think it was vintage beef though. Maybe Slam a cow. But one of them guys, maybe even Caveman Films did. I'm not sure. But they played that game. That game is fucking awful. And this is just invulnerability, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna read it because I don't really feel like reading it. And it's a lot of control stasis. And also you can only use gold. Yeah, he's gold feathers. And uh, they're really hard to get. But later in the game, you're going to get a lot of them. Just use them all the time. Shut up. Shut up. Just just die. Thank you. Anyways. Um, but yeah, that pumpkin. That pumpkin game. I was, uh... There's a lot of YouTube people that take opportunity of this. But just the way... Like, he'll say, like, give me the whatever. And you have to give him that food. And... There'll be one time he'll say, like, give me the butter. And he says it with this voice, like, give me the butt. And I know a lot of people will take an opportunity of that with their, with their YouTube poops and stuff. But that is fucking hilarious. Okay, 
Okay, now you might notice, well, you might not notice, this is more like, play this game before, but played this level before. If you haven't, if you, like, if you have played this game before, you probably didn't notice, though. The, the water is a little lower than it needs to be. Actually, no, because you already knew it was lower. Why it's lower? Never mind. Anyways, the water is lower than it needs to be. You need to go through these loops to raise it if you want to get everything in the area here. You actually can't grab anything. You can't jump on any platforms or anything. You can go in that one hole there, but that just leads to a room with like a few musical notes in it, which I'm gonna go to in a sec here. This part used to piss me off. Now it's like the easiest fucking thing in the game. No, go in it. Oh no! 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 Oh thank God, that was a close one. I was gonna fail the easiest thing in the game. So those things flopping around there. I must make a point saying that these are disgusting. They're just disgusting. Ugh. Like, when I'm in a giant robotic whale, the last thing I want to see are like these like feeler things flopping around. It's just like, ew. <laughs> really, what the hell is that supposed to be? I know it's called like a whiplash or a whiplash or something like that. No, actually, a whiplash is a plant version. This is something totally different than that. It's, it's, it's the same thing as a whiplash, but you can't kill these. And, no joke, you seriously can't kill these. I actually modded the game so that I could, like, go in here with the crocodile. Like I said, my game shark, I actually, I, I kind of modded like a hack, I to call it, back at this time. I went in here as a, as a freaking crocodile, just to see if you can kill them things. You cannot kill them, they are unkillable. They are literally the only unkillable enemy in this fucking game. Well, actually, not the only, but they're, they're still fucking unkillable. And they're terrifying. Because, like, a whip, whiplash, you can shoot eggs at it and it dies. Oh, no wonder you can't kill it. You can shoot eggs at it. That makes sense. You can't shoot eggs. Actually. Is there any... Yeah, it is. Never mind. So, say, I can moon jump out of here with... My game shark sometime later. And go. Because actually, I figured out how this game works. Yeah, when you play with a game shark and you start moon jumping out of the level, you start figuring out how all the programming of the game works. And one of the things I discovered is that the water. Most games, when they program water, is like a certain big block of area that is water. Programmed as water, you swim in that area. This game, there's a line, a flat. basically a flat sprite of water. And if you go uh, below that line. If you hit that line, you'll go into swimming controls, and you'll, if you hit the line again, you'll go back into walking air controls. Now, because of that, if you were to fly out of the level and go directly underneath the line without touching the line, you actually can walk underwater and uh, do your attacks and stuff. And I figured out that some enemies in this game actually are killable. With really weird death animations. Some of them are actually like, glitched up and stuff. And I wonder if that works. But yeah, it's an interesting fact. Some of the enemies in this game that have no way of killing them actually have death animations. Death health bars, even. It's like, I don't know why they programmed all that. It's kind of pointless, but... There, that means there might have been a beta mode. It's like a, like a fish you can play as or something. Which is really interesting. You really learn a lot about this game when you do that. You see what they might have been planning. What the hell? What the hell? Why are you going backwards? Camera? Camera, what are you doing? Camera! Stop! Okay, I'll go through this way then. I fucking missed that. Oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Don't die, don't die. Don't die, come on, don't die on me. Don't die on me. Don't die on me, come on. Come on, we can make it to land. We can make it to land, you can breathe soon. Don't breathe yet. Don't breathe yet, Banjo. We can do this. We almost got it. <gasps> That's nerve-wracking. Extremely nerve-wracking. Going through that thing twice without going up for air. Don't do that, kids. Have I gone up here yet? I haven't. So. I wow, this episode's only... I think I've only gone through one episode with this game. There it is! Another seven. 
So like I said, first ten minutes you don't get jack shit, and the next one you just like, oh, I got everything. I will have this game, this ep this game, this episode, this level done by the end of this episode, probably. I'll try to. Also, just one of the ones in this game. They don't tell you there's just one more at. And there's actually five of them here, I know that. And I think I know where they're all at. I know one of them. There's that one, there's the one that I got inside of. I think I got one inside Clank or some point, I don't know. This, this one, get the one up here, somewhere, I don't know. I don't know how many I got. There's 10, 13. I got four of them? No, I didn't get four of them. I got three of them. I got three of them. There's two left. Because, uh... One of them is the one I got on the way here in Grunty's Lair. I figured it out. I'm smart. Covered in musical notes. Goody, goody. Um, and that's. I definitely need it. Ouch. That was not planned. Oops. Also, spring jump does not work in water. So, uh,. If you accidentally fell in the water at that jump, I feel sorry for you. Down this line, there's just eggs. But, at the very top of it, where you don't slide, there's a Jinjo. I know what the Jinjo is, we're good. Oh my god, it's the one that's underwater, isn't it? No! Damn it! I fell. This game, I don't have to cut anything out, though. This is that kind of game, like when you're returning to something. It isn't really a big deal. Like, I'm just like, oh, okay, I fell. Cool. Love this game. Love the Batman. Man, it's a health boost! We got a health boost in my first recording session. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, this is still my first recording session. I've only been recording for like an hour though, so yeah. I, didn't, I, I felt like oh, I was pissed. What are you doing, Clanker? Stop! He's saying that a lot. That meme is like my favorite meme. That is that is literally one of the funniest memes on YouTube. About meme base is, is that is that insert insert something. What are you doing? Insert something. Stop. That that just never gets old. But it's like when someone does it really stupid, like some dumbass is like, like I understand it's his opinion, but still, you gotta stick with everyone else's opinion when you do a meme. It's a thing. And he was like, Ubisoft, what are you doing? Ubisoft, stop! And it had all the Assassin's Creed's listed. And I was like, what the hell are you saying? Assassin's Creed is like the only game series that's gotten any better. Like every game series gets worse by the game. And there's Assassin's Creed, it's just like, <laughs> fuck that, I'm gonna improve on myself. Oh, you wanna fight? That was beautiful. That was truly beautiful. Kill all them. Yeah, I don't care. You did take to kill them all. Real easy fight. Um, nothing. Oh, nothing really important. I should know about it. Just kill some crabs. Just gotta make sure you ain't got crabs at the end of this. Oh, another thing, another thing I was gonna say. Um, attacking two cans should do a Let's Play versus this game with Josh Jepson. In the comments below, who, who fucking agrees that attacking two cans should do a Let's Play versus um, Banjo Kazooie with Josh Jepson? That'd be a great one. I just, I, I don't know, it's always been in my head. And I never got around to, uh, like, messaging him about that. Like, we should do that. Oh, I don't want to end it here. No. No, I'm only like one jiggy away. Two jiggies away, but still. <sighs> See you in the next one.